Hello and welcome to Mickey Art. My name is Michelle Edhouse and today we are doing Rhapsody in Blue. I know the label's red, but we're doing it in blue. <laughs> How's it get any better than that? And today is inspired, um, I know there's a lot of people out there who have done um, pores using zinc strainers. And, but this one is dedicated to Art by Fars. She put out a video uh, through Insider on, um, on Facebook. And when I was looking at it, Oh, end of last week, maybe the weekend on the weekend, it been 45 million views of this video. And so this is dedicated to Art by Fars and her sync strainer video on Facebook. Um, now this is a sync strainer that I got from Bunnings at five dollars. I've taken the centerpiece that holds it in the sink and the seal and the other bit out so it's just that bit so it will sit nice and then the reason i've just taped that bottle lid to the thing is just to keep the paint flowing through there and not sitting down into that centerpiece just to you know hopefully save us a bit of paint so i'm going to put my gloves on and I've actually never done a strainer pour. And I know you guys are going, what, really? You've got over 260 videos up and you've never done a strainer pour. No, I've seen a lot of you do them. And they always look so cool. And I've used all sorts of other things. Um, a lot of things quite similar to strainers. <laughs> but I've never actually done a strainer pour. So, here we go. This is my attempt at a strainer pour. How's it getting any better than that? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom you in so you can see me putting the paint in. And I've, as I said, it's going to be a Rhapsody in Blue. So what we've got to do um, for that is we've got some Cobalt Blue. We've got some Prussian Blue. And we've got an aeroplane flying over top. We've got some white, and just to break it up a little bit, I've got some silver. Um, I was thinking about throwing other colours in there as well, but you know what? Rhapsody in blue does not include pink or red or yellow or anything else. It includes blue. So, silver's my extra, extra tint for the day. I'm going to start off, now I mix all my paints with Floetrol and water. And I'm not going to use silicon in these, although I do think there is a bit of silicon in the silver. Um, and I'm just going to pour layers of these four colours into the tin. Yep, there's definitely some silicon in that silver. That's all right. Who knows what magic that will create. Now I'm not layering them. I'm just pouring them all in on the same spot. So some of them will get bleed through. Some of them will... fun and funky but going by these colors I think we should get great combinations all the way through right so let's just center you up around our strainer and uh, Zoom you out a bit. And now I'm just going to pour round and round and round. Just whatever comes out the tin, 
is a little tuna tin. I always recycle my tins. Just pouring slowly round and letting it drain out. Oops, try not to get it into the cap. Something around that top corner. That has me dribbling into the uh, Those of you that are wondering, my mum is doing very well, thank you. It's going to take some time to heal, but it is just muscular. The doctor was quite pleased with her progress when she went to see her today. So that is really cool. Just lifting it up and letting it drain. So we've definitely got some cell action going on in there. Let me zoom you in and show you what's going on. Doesn't look like anything like art by Fazers. But that's okay. I love it. It's looking awesome. Now, there's a lot of air bubbles just rising up to the top at the moment. And let me grab my torch. some of those air bubbles now I wish I'd put it on my spinner now <laughs> ah. hmm. Okay, give me a second. I'm going to put my lazy Susan under there and we'll spin it out. All right, so I've got it on a lazy Susan now. I use my lazy Susans upside down just so that you, you know. <laughs> um, and the reason I do that is because I um I like to have it so that the small ring with the rubber feet on it is what the record's sitting on it. It gives it more stability. <laughs> I say that and then it doesn't spin. What's right about this I'm not getting? This is a new Lazy Susan and it doesn't seem to be doing what I want it to do, so I'm just going to tilt. Oh, look at those beautiful colours. What I'm aware of is I haven't got enough paint on here. This is the leftover of the paint out of my tin.
Just pouring it around. To add some paint in there. And then I'm going to grab some of this cobalt because there's not a lot left in there. And we'll just use the rest of that. The lazy Susan comes in really handy. I'll just hold the pot in the same place and turn it. Saw a lump fall in there. It's a nice bit more white as well. Just gonna spread that out. All right, now I'm going to tilt again. See how it runs so much quicker when there's paint already there. One thing I want to try and avoid is um, having it go too zigzaggy. And that happens when you change direction too often. But I don't want to see any of this blue and white that I've just put on. I want that all to run off. Pull it back down. Pull over the side without 
losing too much. Oh, this could be quite a long time, guys. You just got to let it flow. Let it flow, let it flow. That's what it wants to do. While we're waiting, I'm just going to pop a few air bubbles. Cells come up with me doing that. That's over the edge. Make yourself a cup of coffee. I'll be back. I'll be a few minutes. <laughs> How's it getting any better than this? I'm loving the colours though. It's just stunning. I think what Art by Fars does is actually has her strain it up a little bit so it can run straight out and in the past when I've done things like this I too have that's what I've done but for some reason I chose to have it sitting flat and it didn't run through that's okay we'll just have to do another one There you guys. get that torch happening again I am gonna even the paint off and ask these bits just to fall off but let's torch it while we're waiting cells happening in there how cool is that Just adding some lumps of paint just so that they can add some weight and pull. Pull down. And 
as they pull off, they'll drag the other paint behind them. Yeah, I think I'm happy with that. There's just a way that cobalt blue mixes with white that I don't like. When it's just the two of them on their own, he's not a happy girl. Add a bit of silver. Alright, I hope that's been a thoroughly stimulating video for you. <laughs> but the result is stunning. I love it. Just, what's going on there? It's almost like it's a piece of record sticking out. I like that. Let me put that down. and get you down and show you this is cool i like it it's pretty this is sort of thing i could probably paint a dolphin or something on um. all right really does look like a beautiful water scene um raccoon sister was harassing me the other day she was saying how it was really obvious that green was my favorite color and green is so not my favorite color um if you go back through my early videos they were all blues and purples and reds and they're my favorite colors and um i started got um trying to diversify so i wasn't just doing blue paintings and that's why we've ended up with a lot of greens and browns and two of my least favorite colors in the world but a lot of people like them so you know what a lot of people like them there'll be people out there that might want to buy them if you see any videos of mine and you just got, have to have it please touch base with me leave me a comment Catch up with me on Acrylic Pouring for Fun Facebook group or my Mickey Art Facebook page or 
through the contact me page on my com. however you want to contact me and uh, say mine I want that one um, I do sell before they get in the shop so you know pop your hand up see the silver shimmering there it's got a bit of a yellow shimmer because I've got a yellow light bulb on at the moment my apologies if the quality is not quite up to standard my phone is still being fixed there we go how exciting is that I like it I'm intrigued to see how it's going to dry it does look a lot lighter to me here than it's showing on the video but we'll see how it dries guys I will be back in your time three two hey gorgeous ones sorry you're not going to see the dry version of this at the end of this video i've been called back to my mum's place um she had another fall last night so i will show you the dry version of this um in a future video but uh i hope you enjoyed it and how does it get any better than this what else is possible and how much fun can we have every day in our lives? What if you were to choose every moment as if you only had 10 seconds to live? How much more fun would you have? How much more joy would you choose? How many more people would you tell you love them? I adore you all and I will see you really soon.